Hello there, thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and uh, we are here at a little sign right there. It says Athens Church. Can you guess what city we're in? I'll wait. If you said Athens, Georgia, you'd be correct. Because we are in Athens, Georgia, and they've got a huge complex here. This is a little, reminds me of a big shopping center. They've got a, a junior high and a high school and a preschool over on that side. A big parking lot. They've got two services here. they got the, a 9.15 service and a 11 o'clock. So we're here at 11 o'clock because we can't get out of bed before then. So we're at 11 o'clock service. We're going to go inside and take, a, take some video and show you what this place is about. Because you've just entered the Coolest Life Church Edition. There's a big open area right here. They actually got some garage doors that they've got the uh, uh, doors open. And they got some uh, regular doors here. Guest services, a little shopping area there that you can buy shirts. And they've actually got a studio slash coffee bar here. My wife is trying to partake in. How about that? Who'd have thought it? They've got elementary preschool there. And there's also a theater back there, so it says. So we're going to get in here really quick and. Uh, Go around the other side there to go in, and we're going to check out the uh, facilities itself for where service is. So we're inside. They got a black light on, is what it is. And so uh, they got some uh, announcements going up here. So things they were doing outside. My wife didn't notice that her uh, fingernails and toenails are glowing in the dark with this black light. <laughs> They're glowing, that's for sure. Nope. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying to do some announcements too. drugs and alcohol in an attempt to cope. I coped by suppressing my feelings, which built up a lot of resentment and guilt. All of this led to a long season of depression and suicidal thoughts. After my first semester in college, I got into a car accident that should have taken my life. Paramedics literally said if my car were smaller, I would not be here. It was through that painful recovery that I realized I was not here by mistake and no amount of self-hate could stop God from loving and pursuing me. Are just going through tragic circumstances. Oh, one of us in this room 
It is driven by something. There's some overarching I don't know, desire in you that's kind of become your purpose. I love what philosopher and author James K.A. Smith has to say. Listen to this quote from a book. The book is amazing. You are what you love. That's the fascinating title. Listen to what he says. He says, to be human is to be animated by some vision of the good life, some picture of what we think counts as flourishing. And we want that. We crave it. We desire it. And if you don't believe me, that's okay. But what is your response to the fact that 75% of Americans today are addicted to something? They're addicted to alcohol, substances, porn, sex, social media, technology, codependency. We could go down the list and talk about all the ways that we're addicted to things. There's something inside of us that's not at rest today. There is a path for all of us today to experience satisfaction and fulfillment. And Jesus actually tells us about it. To a, a relationship and a lifestyle. A relationship and a lifestyle. And listen to what Rick Warren has to say about righteousness. It's so easy for us to, to grab hold of it today. He says righteousness is, is being right with God and it's living right as God intends. It's a, it's a relationship and it's a lifestyle. It's living right as God intends. What does it look like for you and I to hunger and thirst for righteousness? Well, it looks like for you and me to hunger and thirst after a relationship with God and after the things of God. That I begin to care about the things that God cares about. That I begin to take the words of God truth serious. That I begin to try to live out the words of God in my life. That I begin to order my life around that end. Not around what success is going to bring me. But I, I order around what, what this is going to bring me. So, I have to put your name on this. This is just a moment for you. To just speak with the Lord. And just to think. And consider. It's the Holy Spirit. Would you speak to us, my friends, as they, as they think in this moment right now? Well, it was a good service to just let out. Uh, really good message. Hope you got something out of that. Uh, if you're ever in the area in Athens, Georgia, and want to go to a church, I'd recommend this one here, as long as you like the contemporary style. Like the older school style, eh, it'll be a different church, but the, the message is really good. The band was great. Acoustics were awesome. Uh, I would recommend, if, yeah, people were friendly. If you do anything, set toward the front. Ooh, and I got a free gift. Isn't that nice? But, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and send this to your friends, because we're just out here living the coolest life. Church edition.